Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Uh, welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Gemini for September 2021. This can resonate with your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign, okay? So um, if the reading resonates then that's awesome, or if parts of the message does resonate then that's cool as well. If it doesn't resonate then it's just simply not your message, so please use your own discernment and um, take what fits and kind of leave the rest. So I'm currently shuffling with the Light Sears Tarot. I will be using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot to clarify um, later on in the reading. And most likely I'll be pulling a Soul Journey Oracle card for you guys for a last bit of advice or guidance um, of what you guys need to hear to kind of help spur you on uh, for the month of September. So I've recently put up um, the love readings for September so if you're interested in those like separately um, you can check those out on the channel oh sorry <laughs> my shuffling um excuse the poor shuffling this this deck um is a little bit more def difficult to shuffle um but yeah if you wanted love specifically then um you can check it out on the channel or i'll most likely um put the love reading at the end of this reading okay so what have we got for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus for September 2021? What's happening for you guys? Angels of Love and Light, what can you get for us please? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, let's get into it. Let's go for Gemini. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So they came out. I'm not going to take. I'm not going to take those. I will take this one though, because that's what wanted to come out predominantly. So we have the Four of Swords in reverse. We have Scorpio energy with Death and Rebirth. What else for Gemini? Oh gosh. Okay. We have the Seven of Swords upright. Five of Swords. going on for Gemini. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles, so we've got two Sevens on the board here. So there could be a warning of sorts, um, or some sort of awakening to a situation, or knowing, following your intuition of sorts. Eight Wands, upright, what else can we get for Gemini? Two more please. Oh, thank you. We had the wheel, the wheel of fortune. Things turning around. This looks promising. What else? One more for Gemini. Oh, that looked like it wanted to come out of my hand. We have the three of pentacles. I'll take one more just in case. Three of pentacles in reverse. Page of cups. Okay. And we have the ten of pentacles reverse of what we don't see. With the Empress in reverse and the Magician in the reverse with the Fall. Wow, okay, so this is interesting. So obviously um, you could have these signs in your chart or if there, if there is a pertaining to love in any portion of this reading, it could go towards um, someone else that's in, on your mind, etc. So we have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. So your energy with the Four of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Swords upright and the Five of Swords. We have um, Scorpio energy here with the Death and Rebirth card. We have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here with the um, the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy with the Eight of Wands upright. We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces here with the Page of Cups and then we have the Wheel of Fortune with Leo Aquarius Scorpio and Taurus energy. Okay. So what I'm getting straight away is that for you guys for the month of September, there is a major transformation um, coming into play. And this transformation is going to be for the betterment of yourself and your situation of what's been going on around you. And with this Wheel of Fortune, there is going to be a sense of um, destiny in relation to this particular change that may be coming in. It will come in relatively all of a sudden. So it may have happened already or it will happen. Um, 
but just depending on when you come across this reading. I'm really feeling that if there has been any period of time where there's been some sort of deceit or lies or lots of conflict and arguments with people, people who are close to you, friendships, family members, even work colleagues, anything along that those lines is going to come to the surface. Where there's been any kind of lack of cooperation, any support, um, people who are just kind of trying to stir trouble, I'm getting the sense that that will be coming to an end and that these changes coming in for you will be very sudden and things will rapidly turn around and I'm getting the sense that um, that karma will be coming into play to help um, assist in these particular changes and even if it gets to a point where potentially there is an uprooting of some sort to do with your life um, in a particular way it will be for the betterment of yourself and potentially you may have felt relatively exhausted um, you know taken some needing to take some time to heal yourself after a particularly difficult situation maybe there's been a lot of anxiety a lot of stress and I'm getting this kind of sense that from taking care of yourself and putting in that extra love and care um, and the healing that you're needing is allowing you to feel so much more rejuvenated. And this in turn is allowing you to gather this kind of um, momentum for this recovery. And this kind of supposed slow recovery will eventually build up and it will move a lot faster for you. And you'll feel it in a place where you're able to take this kind of massive action I'm getting to allow yourself to move on forward and predominantly allow yourself to get into a position where you're able to um, invest in something that is going to be very fulfilling for yourself you know it takes time to heal you know it takes time um, but it'd be really worthwhile because you've been putting the work in for yourself being patient with yourself allowing this kind of um, hard work that you've put in to kind of like take effect i'm getting like reaping the rewards of your harvest if you can see all the kind of groundwork that you have done here and it's allowing even though it's taken some sort of time lots of lots of healing lots of looking after yourself naturally there's going to get to the point where of what you don't see is there's this massive beautiful growth coming in for you and then as soon as it starts growing, it's like this plant has peeped through the soil. The growth is going to be um, magnificent, but there needed to be a solid of foundation being built first. And that's what has been needed to be done for you in relation to healing a particularly difficult situation that you may have gone through. Now, this particular incidence is up here, even if it's to do with a home situation, a work situation, there may be people wanting to come around and apologise to you if they have caused drama and unnecessarily upset in your life, which um, has been very difficult to deal with. Potentially, if there has been um, any sneakiness to do with people in their intentions, there may be people coming around as part of their karma, realising that actually they need to apologise and potentially you are being... Um, helped and assisted in relation to this happening for you and this in turn is going to allow you to have this um, assistance you know in this particular growth that it is that you're wanting um, what we don't see here with the ten of pentacles in reverse and the empress in reverse and the magician with the fall like i feel like these are so important um so i'm absolutely going to take them i might even take them as well um but what I'm getting here is potentially could be dealing with a, a water sign here. Um, no, not a, not a water sign, sorry. So a Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus Libra energy, or um, actually Gemini, yeah, Gemini Scorpio Libra energy, I think for the, um, or Virgo energy for the magician. So there is some sort of water element here and Aries energy with the King of Cups. I feel like that's probably why I said the water energy. Um, there may be a period of time that if it is has been to do with an unhappy home situation or a work situation where there's been um, something that may not necessarily have worked out and it's been like a fleeting success, potentially there's been a very... Um, 
difficult relationship to do with um, a mother figure maybe uh, or maybe someone who is like I'm getting aunt so maybe an aunt maybe a, a cousin some sort of person in the family or a close family friend or someone kind of like the matriarchy um, I'm getting that potentially there may have been some sort of um, trickery or some sort of deceit in a particular way or somebody may have created particular illusions about a particular home family situation and something's coming to light there may have been some sort of fight in relation to finances i'm getting um, or some sort of uncomfortableness to do with finances and potentially I'm getting the sense that there may be some sort of illusion being put in place to do with some sort of financial dependency or a codependent relationship due to type of finances and there's just been like a sense of um, I'm getting the word debt or kind of limited resources in a particular way potentially and this illusion will eventually be cleared up and any type of limited resources or kind of like scatteredness to do with a connection or something not necessarily feeling right you are most likely going to be able to move on forward and embrace a brand new beginning um, after these particular sudden changes and um, what's going to be turning around in your favor um, so potentially especially here with this empress energy with the 10 to the 13 is three so the way I'm seeing that is with the Empress in reverse, you may have been dealing with someone um, who was relatively, relatively cold, I'm getting very just kind of insecure. If this is not the case, if there's been a feeling, a point where you may have felt relatively insecure, insecure about your finances, unsure about a particular situation feeling relatively unstable then that will be coming to a closing point and that will be coming to an end and you'll be able to manifest a brand new beginning with this kind of emperor energy emperor energy i know that's is not the emperor but three and one is four and that is um the emperor so you'll be gaining particularly um control in your life after a particularly difficult time potentially um, which will allow you to be able to embrace a, an, a brand new beginning and kind of follow your heart and feel so much more emotionally balanced about what it is that you're trying to go after in relation to um, the next kind of step in your life. So potentially here, like you're definitely the finances are going to be turning around um, and whatever hasn't been serving you will be coming out of your life and you're having this rebirth and this transformation of any difficulties that may have been will be coming to an end any trickery is going to be is going to be gone it's going to be dealt with it's going to be fixed it's going to be sorted and you'll be able to not have to worry so much about that particular situation which is really quite um quite great to be honest um but there may have been a period of time where you felt like you couldn't trust certain people around you due to um well people's actions behaviors etc so what I feel called to do is I'm going to clarify some of these cards for you and see what's going on. So we'll use the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. Okay, so bear with us. I'm just going to shuffle these cards. So what can we get for Gemini, please? So obviously, please just take or leave what resonates. This is um, a general read, so it'll be for quite a lot of people. We got for Gemini. What's happening for yeah, you may have felt stuck for quite some time in a particular situation, or maybe had like a victim mentality, um, or maybe felt like people may have betrayed you. This is kind of like you know, um, like traitor. So, potentially, like what you don't know is what's being transformed is that if anything around you where people may have deceived you. Or, or lied that's be coming to an end that's coming to the forefront yeah potentially the ending of this <laughs> this empress look at this when we had the empress here twice and it being reversed obviously i know i put that back the other way around but you know you saw previously that that's what it was so there's definitely an ending to a particular um situation with someone could be even just a taurus or a libra that is coming to a dramatic change 
Um, yeah, so what's, what's, what, what is going on with Death and Rebirth? Wow. Yeah, look at this with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is being let go. This is, this is being let go. You are letting go of particular um, situations, people, places, things that are um, necessary in order for you to gain the stability back into your life. I'm getting, yeah, you're gaining the truth and the clarity uh, about this new vision. This kind of victory, I'm getting the sense like you'll have this kind of victory lap that once something has been completed or something has finished off in your life, you'll be able to move forward and transform in a brand new way and have this renewed sense of hope about what it is that you want in your life. Potentially, you just know the truth about something. Yeah, potentially there was very um, a lot of imbalance to do with um, a connection of sorts, like the, a lot of confusion. But I'm getting the sense that where there may have been a lack of direction of what to do with certain people or certain situations around you, you'll gain the clarity that you need to have the brand new beginning to push yourself forward. Anything that wasn't necessarily moving or working for you is going towards judgment. Like there's a, a, an awakening of um, this kind of realisation, this inner clarity that you're going to gain that there were certain things that may not necessarily have been um, the best for you. Look at this. Look, I haven't even shuffled the cards and these were coming out. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, straight out. Here we are. Well, there's your energy here, Gemini. So we have the lovers, the devil in reverse, the page of cups in reverse, the three of cups in reverse and the seven of cups. So there's a lot of water here. Or you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn. So I'm getting this sense that you're healing and gaining independence predominantly from a toxic situation where there may have been a period of time where you have felt that there was no control in a situation. There was lots of confusion and we kind of got that already with the chariot being in reversed to do with a third party quite potentially and we kind of knew that because there's been the lack of support here and potentially here where people haven't been taking ownership for how they have been treating you and potentially like you may have felt very disappointed with certain people and I'm getting the sense that this may have made you feel relatively vulnerable but you will be getting out of that because you're gaining this new sense of clarity here with the seven of cups in, re in reverse about healing yourself moving yourself forward and recognizing making the decision about what type of type of partnerships that it is that you want in your life by stepping into your power and into your own kind of energy, which is allowing you to move yourself forward. Potentially here with the King of Pentacles in reverse, there's been very heavy burdens in relation to a financial situation. Um, and so therefore you'll, you'll be eventually be able to drop the particular burdens. And potentially um, there may be an indication with having this sudden change there may have been a period maybe a period of time where you may not be in the financial position that you want to be but on a soul level you would have actually finished a particular journey in your life which was integral for you to be able to move on forward because potentially you may have been left out of the cold for quite some time in relation to this and fearful of particular changes but by following your intuition you'll be able to make plans to move on forward and get out of any kind of tricky situations that you may have been in previously and look at that and you're moving on from any difficulties here with the three of swords in reverse and potentially you may even get into a position where you've healed so much that you'll kind of forgive of a situation previously and then just feel grateful that you're not in that anymore and taken the lessons that have come to pass with these particular situations and what has it taught you in relation to that so I feel need, the need to um, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. So I'm going to do that now for you. So what's this Wheel of Fortune about? Yeah, you've been exhausted. You feeling absolutely knackered is coming to an end. Feeling like sapped of all your energy with all the work that you've probably put into particular situations. You know, may have felt like, look, I have no fight left. I don't know what I'm meant to do. But you're being asked to retreat, to take care of yourself and eventually let everything kind of turn around for you naturally, I'm getting, rather than forcing of things to happen. 
Yeah, look at this. So any severance of particular legal contracts that will be coming in for you if this is something that is relatively important. Focusing on that healing, looking after yourself, putting that love and care into what it is that you need to do, allowing yourself to heal. And this in turn, you know, any, any kind of um, mental um, stress that you may have had previously, like you're going to be able to get on away from that. So yeah so predominantly any time of unhappiness that you may have felt in relation to a home situation fam family situation etc you that will be coming to an end because you'll be transitioning out of that particular cycle here with two tens so if i were you i would look up the um the 10 10 to find out more about that but you will be definitely coming to an end of a particularly difficult situation look at that having victory and success after something that has been very difficult this will be very shocking to you with the way that everything kind of falls about, but it will be really worthwhile, okay? And any stagnancy that there may have been in relation to moving on forward will be um, will be fixed, will be kind of turned around for you, okay? So what I'm going to do now, lastly, is pull from the Soul Journey Oracle cards and see what kind of advice and guidance we can get for you for the month of... September, yeah, it is September. I just can't believe it's September already. It just feels crazy <laughs> that, that, that that we're there already. So, what can we get for Gemini, please? What advice and guidance can you please give us? For... Oh, that looked like I wanted to come out straight away, but I'm not going to take that. If it comes out, perseverance, look at that. Perseverance, just have perseverance. You And you have done by working on yourself, and it's taken time, but it will be worthwhile. What's coming out here for Gemini? Oh, gosh. Okay, so you got two. I know what I'm here to do. For purpose and imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So, yeah, you're getting this kind of, like, enlightenment by following your heart and knowing, by healing yourself about what it is um, that you're doing and how to be able to move yourself forward, creating a better life for yourself. And look at this, bottom of the deck, we have health. I will honor the f physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And that's basically exactly what you've been doing with this Queen of Cups energy, the Four of Swords, taking the time, resting, being patient with yourself. And what this in turn is allowing you to do is to grow and transform. And we have this beautiful kind of purple energy and also green here. Um, so that's to do with like the heart chakra and the crown chakra. So you're being very well enlightened to a particular um, particular situations around you. And this in turn is allowing you to have this greater sense of acceptance and love. Yeah, because you're putting the worry in the past. You know, there has been a lot of anxiety previously, but worrying about an un outcome doesn't change the outcome. So it's like realizing that focusing on yourself will allow you to move on forward in the way that you'd like to for the month of September. OK, so anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And we'll speak to you again soon. So please take care. Bye for now.